Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, on a visit to Washington, struck an unmoving note on the controversial issue of construction projects in East Jerusalem. Jerusalem is not a settlement, it's our capital. The statement set the tone for what was expected to be a tense meeting late Tuesday with U.S. President Barack Obama. But there's also been growing tension and some violence in the Middle East, where Israel's foes are seeking some advantage from the situation. Obviously, the Palestinians, whether you're Hamas or Fatah, to varying degrees and in, very, uh, in, in different ways, wants to, want to exploit the U.S.-Israeli spat or rift to their advantage. Welcome to Dispatch. I'm Marla Dial. Israeli construction projects in East Jerusalem have contributed recently to unrest from both parts of the Palestinian territories, including public demonstrations in the West Bank and rocket attacks from Gaza. The thing is that we need to distinguish between the two. There is the, the idea of armed confrontation or the possibility in, in Gaza, and then there is the strong possibility of an uprising or an intifada in the West Bank. For Fatah, uh, it can't be seen as resuming negotiations with Israel at a time when Israel is expanding settlements and, and there is Palestinian anger on the street. So that's, that's a non-starter for Fatah. For Hamas, it's an opportunity to move beyond Gaza and try and expand its influence within the West Bank. Meanwhile, Stratfor sources and others have suggested that Iran is trying to work through the Palestinians to keep the frictions going. From the uh, Iranian point of view, uh, U.S.-Israeli tensions are great, and uh, if the Iranians can prolong that, uh, that's even better. So the question is, can the Iranians do something to exploit the U.S.-Israeli rift to its advantage?